Citrus greening disease, also known as Wang Longbing, HLB, was first reported in Asia in 1919. This disease, caused by the bacterium Candidatus libarobacter, has significantly impacted citrus production worldwide due to its destructive nature. The disease made its first appearance on the American continent in 2004. Citrus greening disease, also known as Wang Longbing, HLB, primarily spreads through two main routes. The most prevalent mode of transmission is via insect vectors, specifically the Asian citrus psyllid, Diaphorina citri. These tiny insects feed on the sap of citrus leaves and stems and can transmit the bacterium, Candidatus libarobacter asiaticus or other libarobacter species, responsible for the disease if they are carriers. The infection occurs when these psyllids feed on a healthy citrus plant after feeding on an infected one. Another significant route through which the disease spreads is human activity, particularly the movement of infected plants or plant parts between different regions. This includes activities such as grafting with materials from infected trees or the transport of nursery plants from areas where the disease is present. While measures like quarantines and restrictions are often put in place to control this type of spread, unintentional or unregulated movements still occur, further complicating the efforts to control the disease. These transmission methods underscore the challenges in managing the spread of citrus greening, necessitating comprehensive strategies that include both insect population control and strict regulatory enforcement. Citrus greening disease, or Wang Longbing, HLB, impacts citrus trees with a range of distinctive symptoms that compromise both their appearance and productivity. One of the most visible signs is the irregular modeling of yellow patches on the leaves, a condition not symmetrical and distinctly different from the symptoms of nutrient deficiencies. The leaves themselves may exhibit a blotchy model appearance, an early and significant indicator of the disease. The fruits from infected trees often remain green at the bottom, fail to ripen uniformly, and may be smaller and misshapen compared to healthy fruits. These fruits typically have a bitter taste and may contain aborted seeds, with a tendency to drop from the tree prematurely. As the disease progresses, twig and branch dieback occurs, leading to a thinning canopy, which further reduces the tree's vitality. Below the surface, the root system also suffers, exhibiting a decline in mass and health, which can be challenging to observe without digging up the tree. Over time, the overall health of the tree declines. It becomes stunted and less vigorous, leading to decreased productivity and eventually death if the disease is not managed. Management of citrus greening largely focuses on controlling the Asian citrus psyllid, the insect vector responsible for transmitting the disease. Strategies include removing infected trees to prevent further spread and exploring the use of disease-resistant citrus varieties. The goal is to mitigate the impact of HLB since there is currently no cure once a tree is infected. Treating citrus greening disease, or Wang Longbing, HLB, remains a significant challenge in agriculture, primarily due to the absence of a cure. Management strategies are crucial and focus on both prevention and mitigation. The first line of defense is controlling the Asian citrus psyllid, the primary vector that spreads the disease. This involves regular monitoring and the strategic use of insecticides, along with the integration of biological control agents that target the psyllid populations. Another approach involves bolstering the health of the affected trees through nutritional supplements. Providing additional nutrients can improve tree vigor and potentially extend their productivity, even though it does not cure the disease. This method aims to counteract the nutrient uptake issues caused by root system damage due to HLB. Removing infected trees from orchards is a critical strategy to prevent the spread of the disease to healthy trees. This practice is especially vital in newly infected areas to contain the disease's spread effectively. In regions where HLB is prevalent, research and development efforts are ongoing to breed citrus varieties that show resistance or tolerance to the disease, promising a longer-term solution to managing HLB. There are experimental treatments as well including the use of antibiotics to control the bacteria responsible for HLB. However, this method is still under research and regulatory review due to concerns over effectiveness and potential environmental impacts. Overall, an integrated management approach that combines these strategies with good agricultural practices, such as proper irrigation, pruning, and general tree care, is recommended to manage citrus greening effectively. 
This comprehensive approach helps maintain the health of citrus orchards while minimizing the impact of HLB.